All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the special edition of Teen Talk Live. I am your host, Ann Dillard, and super, super excited to have my side-by-side -side sister, Miss Natalie Johnson Lee, with me today. Hey, Miss Natalie. Hello, hello, hello. Thank How you for you? being here. To be here. I'm excited yeah. to have you back. What does that cup say? With God, all things are possible. I know that's right. That's a positive message for today. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Natalie, for those of um, the people who are watching who don't know you, would you just give us a brief introduction of who is Natalie Johnson Lee and oh, how God. do you serve in the world? Okay, so my name is Natalie Johnson Lee. I am the owner of Sisters in Power 365 LLC, which is a coaching consulting um, firm and we serve through um, nonprofit and for-profit organizations and um, actually individuals as well. We do executive coaching as well. And so, and I serve in the world in many different capacities with uh, my positioning, with my, with my work, but I also serve as the president, the re-president or the again president um, of the Rotary Club of North Minneapolis. I also sit on the board of directors of Project Safety Nets. I sit on the board of directors of ANSWER, um, and I sit on the board of directors of Dr. Celeste Owens Ministries. And I oh know I'm forgetting something else that I sit on the board of, so please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, those are the three active ones uh, that I'm on right now. I've, I've taken myself off of a, a bunch of different ones, but yeah, that's, that's just me in a nutshell. I am a grandmother of nine. Wow. The newest one would be Little Carter. Welcome, born, Carter. Yeah, that was born in COVID, oh, in COVID time. So he was born on 411. So we welcome wow. um, Mr. Carter to the world. So he's yes. something, something because it's 2020. But actually, all my grandchildren are something, something. So hey. <laughs> they are. <laughs> So, Miss Natalie, I, I mean, I just think that us having this conversation, and again, for those of you who are just joining us, the topic that we're talking about today, we're just popping in for a brief moment yes. to talk about how to pr protect your emotional energy yeah. in, um, in times like these. You know, well, we talk just about every day. And we talk about, we don't just, what I like about our relationship is that we don't just surface talk. Yeah, we deep dive. Very, very, <laughs> we, we, I, we just go, boom, we deep dive right in, right away. <laughs> but we've come, we've come that comfortable with each other where we can just, we can just, we can deep dive. We don't have to have all the right. preliminary, although we, we touch all the preliminary, but we can yeah. go right into the deep dive. Right. And so, you know, when I find myself lacking in that space where I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm having all these shallow conversations, I know just what I'm lacking. I'm lacking your, your presence for one, right. because yeah. we, we don't have these shallow conversations. And I, I like that about our side by side sisters that we can have yeah. these conversations with each yeah. other and it's a safe space. And it so is. I'm so glad for the suggestion to share this conversation with, with the rest of our, the world or our friends who, right. um, who might benefit from this. So let, let's set this up. Um, tell us why, why are we having this conversation? What, what's the, what led up to us having this conversation about protecting your emotional space while serving and helping others? Right. So, so, you know, I called, well, actually I didn't call, well, I called Ann and um, she happened to be with a, uh, she was a busy. And so, and what she does is when she's busy, she'll just say, she'll s s send back a quick text or she has an automatic text that comes to me and, and lets me know, or, and it's not just me, just friends. So it lets me know that she is um, currently busy. And normally I just go, I'll talk to her later. But because I was in need of something, I text her back and said, please call me. I need help. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that was the first thing I want you to, I want you to, to note that because I called her and I said, I need help. So when, so therefore when she called me, there was an expectation that something was going on. That doesn't necessarily mean that 
um, if that wasn't an emergency call or anything like that, but she knew that there was going to be a need, um, there was a need in that conversation. And one of the things that I had expressed to her is that I have the actually blessed opportunity to talk to a lot of different uh, people. And, um, and that what it's happening is I'm having experiences where um, a lot of people around me are losing loved ones. And that's a, it's, and it, and it, be, and it was starting to become very weighty for me. Yeah. And I needed to have a conversation on how to navigate that, not for them to stop sharing, but how do I take care of myself? I'm helping other people navigate their weightiness that I don't take on their weight or sometimes I don't take on the energy that I may be feeling from them not that they are projecting something on me but how do I manage that space and still be able to show up and be supportive in those conversations and with those individuals and so I so we began to have that conversation and that's so, how and that's how it started yeah. you know, so I, I love, I love how you, you, you know, you kind of lay it out for us because what happened was when you said, I need help, that was, you know, something that went off in my mind that says, okay, so you call back with the expectation, but you, it's not going to be just a, Hey girl, what's going on? How you doing? It's, it's going to be, um, a action. There was a call to action. So that means I don't call you five minutes before my next session. Exactly. That means exactly. I prepare myself so that I return this call when I have enough time for us to process whatever we needed to work through. You call back with intention. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's something we talk about a lot, living with, on purpose and with mm -hmm. intention. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so the, the reason why I thought, or we thought that it would be good to share this um, with our friends is that in this time and space with COVID-19 and everything that's going on, it's so important that we're there for each other. Exactly. Exactly. And we're supporting each other. Exactly. And you're right. Right before I got on with you, I scrolled through Facebook and saw that we lost um, someone from our church, right? And right. so, right. you know, we're getting hit and bombarded back to back to back. But in our conversation, we were talking about there are some safeguards that we need to put in place. Exactly. Yes, we are. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And one of those safeguards is, um, and you just said it, prepare for your friends, prepare for the conversations, but also not only, not only prepare for your friends, but your friends need to prepare you. So, yes. Yeah, so normally I don't text you saying I need your help. So that was a different kind of text in general. And so, and that's where it becomes very important for you to be consistent uh, and, and for you to be to know who you can share what with um, and so it's 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 a matter for you to be prepared so when I called when I text her back and said I need your help she knew that she had to prepare but she needed to make she needed to make room and she needed to be intention so intentional so if she had another client back to back right. there's a couple of things she could have done she could have said hey girl I, I got your I got your text um, I just wanted to I wanted to hear your voice to see you know what's going on but you know i will call you back when i have more time because i really want to give ear yes. to what you have to say or she or she can do like she did i have a, a space of time so let me call her now so we can so i can see what what is going on and see how i can be of service um to her and so by me saying i need help that let her know how she then need to to prepare but not only that, sometimes depending on who you talk to, you just need to prepare in general because you may not, you may, and this is how you, this, and this is where it comes important for you to know your friends. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, how you, how you prepare, if you, if you bless the phone before you pick, pick it up, if you say, you know what, I'm, a, I'm, I'm blessing this call or let me, let me get in a position or let me get in a space where I can have uh, a conversation or you do a quick call back. Hey girl. Um, I'm getting ready to go into a meeting or I'm getting ready to do this. Um, can I, okay, I can, I, I can call you back. Is there, is there immediate need? Um, and then this is the case. If there is an immediate need, 
what you will need to do then is either try to do a, a quick triage. Yes. Or find someone who maybe you have in common that they can talk to or give them some things they can do until you can have um, a conversation with them. Uh huh. And and my look, my go to is always okay. Take some time. Let's breathe. Yes. You know, that's, that's, that's my go-to. Yes. And in some cases it's, let's say the serenity prayer, let's, you know, like, like, let's put a bandaid on it until we can come back to it. Right. right? And, right. and I think this is something important as we, we navigate the space to think about who's on the other end of the line yes. when you are, you are ready, you're going to share your mm-hmm. story. Right. Right. Because like you said, Miss Natalie, you brought you, you, that was a good reminder. Everybody can't bear the weight of your story. So even mm-hmm. find out, are, are you in a place where you can hear my story right now? Mm-hmm. Right. And right. I, I remember not too long ago, I had to call a few of my friends with some bad news. And I had to prepare them in the sense of saying, are you in a space where you can listen to some bad news right now? Right, right. That, that's, you know, and that's very important. And the other, the other piece is to manage expectation. Mm. Um, we are in a very different, this is, a, this, is, this is very unknown to all of us. So I don't want to say, oh, we're in a different time. This is unknown. We're, we're dealing with a lot of unknowns. Yeah. So one of the things that, 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 that is, is imperative is that we operate with a, a tremendous amount of grace, not only for ourselves, but for one another, for each other, that we have a, a tremendous amount of grace um, for each other. And uh, when you, and, and one of the things that we talked about um, is um, um, understanding that in this time, uh, the need for connectedness um, in, in, in the grieving process. So meaning that there are people who are losing people who, who, do, who now can't have that connection. Just to give you an example, a very dear friend of mine um, lost her father. And earlier today, I was on a Facebook Live um, funeral. Mm-hmm. I was on a funeral on Facebook Live. They, they, they broadcast the funeral um, on live so for us to participate that that's something very new for me is something very different um and i was present but the other thing that we have to also understand is that um grieving is important yes. and one of the things that you shared with me Anne, you know is, is and, it, and, it, and it, the bible says there's a time to mourn and and you and one of the things that i that i was very um aware of mm-hmm. and concerned about is that I didn't want to over spiritualize yeah. uh, a conversation, but I also didn't want the conversation to take me out. So mm. I wanted to make sure that I was, I was, I was being honorable and managing someone's in emotional, emotional health yeah. uh, and not, and not trying to marginalize it or minimize it in the sense by speaking um, scriptures in a way that they didn't feel like they were heard because sometimes what happens is it's not by the scriptures you say it's about the scriptures you live that's right yeah and so you know and so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't you know I was I wasn't in a place where I you know that you you know because you don't you don't know what to say you begin to say things that just don't resonate at the, at the time so just really being led right. by the spirit, but also being very aware that sometimes um, people, us in the body of Christ can dis- dismiss the mental health factor of grieving and some other things and go straight into this other role where, um, we dismiss what the person is going through as well. That, and that is so key. And, um, and I'm going to add to that also in protecting yourself and being honest with yourself and your expectation so that if somebody is sharing with you, instead of just dismissing them or minimizing their grief or, or what they're sharing with you is to check in with yourself. And if you can't bear the weight of their story at that time, to share that. Right. 
you know, I, I want to hear you and I'm so sorry that, you know, you, you got started with the story. Um, but can you let me get myself together and um, so that I'm prepared to, to be with you in this with, space, in this space yeah. right? Because you're not always ready and prepared. No. no. And when you're being bombarded, like you said, it's the life, the scripture that you live. And right. that's what draws people to, to call on you in the first place. Exactly, exactly. And then when that's coming back to back to back to back, you have to exercise self-care also right. and say, so, you know what? I'm so sorry this is going on. Just just the reverse of what you just said, Ms. Natalie. I'm so sorry if this is going on for you. Give, let me get myself together or give me a, a, a few minutes or a little time so that I can be in the space to hear you. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, and, in, and in that sense, then you're not saying, okay, hurry up and grieve. Okay. Hurry up and mourn. Girl, there's, there's too much we got to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. It's not dismissing exactly. or minimizing that. Exactly. Exactly. And 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 the challenge in in the chat and then the other challenge that just opposed to that is that we've got to be also aware because many of us are at home with children, and so they're experiencing the gamut of our emotions. So we've got to be aware, and you've also got to have friends in your life that will be honest with you, that will be like, okay, girl this is what we this is where we got to go and this is what we need to do and know that i got you i'm supporting you but we've got some things that we've got to make sure that we're aware of around us because because we're now in in, in extremely close proximity with one another in a prolonged period of time, time right yeah. so we're operating so there's and, and this is the deal there what and what we what we've learned and what we've discovered is there are many op, um many variations of grieving going on in the yes. house. You know, yes. Yes. You've got the children are grieving, but they, but but it, but the, they're grieving about their school, you know, um somebody may be grieving about the loss of a job or being furloughed or the loss of income. There's 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 a lot of things that people are grieving about and in that space um there's two things. There's 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 the receiver and the recipient. And both of us have to be aware because one of the things that you don't want to do is it, and, and, and you don't want to call somebody and just throw up on them. That's, that's, you know, you just like, well, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because what happens is in the recipient, you know, it's like, okay, whoa, you know, right. I feel dirty. I don't feel, I can't, I don't even know how to support you because I just got hit with something. So that's why we talked about preparing, um, preparing your friends or, and even something that's saying, you know what, I need to talk. Yeah. Do you have a moment? Do I need, I need, to, I need, I need to talk. And, and even saying sometimes, listen, if you can sit with me, I just need somebody to sit with me. I need to get this out. And right. if I can get this out, but you also have to be careful who you say that to, because some people can get, help you get it out. And then they know how to, you know, cast it away that the burden, they know how, they know how, they know how to take the burden and release the burden and some people will take the burden and carry the burden and then then you've left them with a with a with something that they don't have the capacity to carry so it, so it's 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 a real um fine dance um and and it's important that we that we have these conversations one with another so that we can share and and be honest about not only how yeah. we feel but also be able to get the help that we need that is so it. true that is so true. And, and like you said, to get the support that you need. And so one of the things that we came up with is when you're ready to start these conversations to either ask the person, what is it that you need from me? Exactly. Exactly. Right. So we're getting ready to have this conversation. Okay. Tell me what it is that you need. Do you need me to listen to you? Do you need advice? Do you need resources? Um, do you just need my presence right here with you in this space. What is right. it that you need from me? And sometimes the person don't even know what it is that they need. So mm -hmm. asking the, them those questions can help to provoke and help to um, help them in their presentation exactly. uh, of that information. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, if 
the, the person who's sharing might just need to call and say, okay, so what I need from you, which is our conversation this morning, exactly. what I need from you is, um, is to listen to me and, and help me navigate this space. Right. Right. And so being clear about your expectations, but also being clear about what you need and conveying that message to the other person, I think yeah. it's a very, especially in these times, it's a very respectful way of communicating. Right. Yeah, that is so true. And then a couple of other things that we that we came up with or that we talked about are what are some of the things, and, and I know you had said later on um, that you're going to do a brief video about this. And one mm -hmm. of them is thought management because, you know, as you think about this, you know, what happens if things are happening in other people's lives, all of a sudden, if you're not careful, your thoughts can start running, running the gamut. And all of a sudden, you know, nanas, cousins, I mean, you, you, you just start going crazy. Like, you know, um, this could happen, this could happen. You start thinking about all the things that could happen or when is it going to happen? I mean, you start saying things that, and thinking things that are really out of the scope and can take you to a place that is not, um, is not a good place to be. It's not. And, and, and so, yeah, ruminating and, you know, just thinking on stuff, my goodness. Then next thing you know, you picking up the phone, who died now? <laughs> You know, because you, that's what you've been feeding on, and and that's seeding in in your in your spirit. And so, I one of the concepts that we use, or one of the modalities that we use in therapy, is thought stopping. Right, where you literally, I I literally usually wear a, a band on my hand. And you literally, sometimes when I find my thoughts just going on and on and I, I'm getting in that space, I will snap myself and say, stop. See, and I, what I do is I say, oh no, stop, not today. Not today, <laughs> not now, not this moment, not now, stop. Exactly. You know, because I, 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 right? I can but go when, <laughs> when you take that thought away, however, it's important to interject something positive. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so, so going spiritual on you in a, for a moment, that is called casting down vain imaginations that rises itself against the knowledge of Christ. God. So we got to give, you know, for every look. So, you know, I have to give them, give them a little yes. something, something, but that's casting down vain imaginations. You know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So. And then yeah. what do you put in that space? Exactly. Because you need to put, you need to interject, um, you know, uh, somebody told me what it was the other day and I forgot, I forgot it. When you take something away, you have to put something in of equal value. Right. right? right. And so you have to put something in of equal value. And what is that something of equal value? It might be an affirmation. Exactly. Right? And in some cases, I'm trying to see if I could find what she told me it was, and it was so good. It might be a, um, it might be a scripture. Yep, it may be a scripture, it may be an affirmation, it may be the exact opposite. I was um, listening to a podcast the other day and it was really good. And one of the things they said is that when people, when, when you hear something about this might happen, this might happen, this might happen, you stop and say, what is the opposite of that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, okay, but this might happen, this might happen, and this might happen. You know what I'm saying? And so... It was yes. like replacing it. Yeah, yeah, replacing yes. it. You've got to fill that space. Yes. Right. Don't just leave it out there. Stop. No. Interject yes. something positive that right. will uplift your spirit and give you some, release some good chemicals in your brain that will help um, cancel out those automatic negative thoughts that's coming in. And so that is called thought stopping. And I am going to do a video on that to, to take people through yes. that process. You know, I had a I had a friend that uh, was going through something, and she had a specific thought that would come up all the time. And she had, um, and she had gotten, and, and she actually used scripture. So, but she also, but she had something that she would say every time that thought came up. Now, this is the thing: she said, at any given day, she could have to stop that thought five hundred plus times. My God. She would have to thoughts that that's how that's how ruminating thoughts can take up. She would have to stop that yes. thought up to about five hundred times, and she said, and eventually 
it reduced and it reduced and it reduced and it reduced to now it's very fleeting. Yeah, uh, if it comes up at all, but it but it takes work. But you 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 you've got to go after it because because if not, you you can go on a on a on a rabbit trail that'll yes. take you down to a in deep your rabbit, mind in your mind to take you down to a deep rabbit hole that you don't even know how to get out of. Right, and this is really an important time to guard your heart, guard exactly. your mind, exactly. and and to renew, like the scriptures say, renew your mind daily. Right. And, and meditate on the word of God, meditate on what whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are positive, right? Think on these things. We have to, we have to do that now to, to protect ourselves because, you know, when our minds can contribute to the breakdown of our immune system and exactly. once that's exactly. broken down, you are susceptible or more susceptible to, you know, getting sick. Right. And so guarding your heart, guarding your mind is something that's, that is so, so critical right now. And, and, you know, and let me say this, and, 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 and we'll say, because what happens is at any given time, we don't want to over-spiritualize this, but we also want to be real. And that's about being real. We're not saying ignore what's happening around you. Use wisdom and be aware, but don't inundate yourself with the negative because you've got to have, um, I'm not even going to say a healthy balance. I think that you have to minimize the negative and and overemphasize the positive in this in this culture in this situation because the negative is permeating it's yeah. permeating the airways it's permeating conversations it's permeating facebook it's per it's it's everywhere and so you have to you must and even in our day-to-day -day lives pre-covid that that was something that we had to do we had to guard our hearts and guard our minds and and be able to 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 put in things but now you you've got to be even more diligent about doing that as well that is so true so true and we talk about you know what are some of the things that you can do um yes. and we're coming to the end of our our um broadcast but we yes. talked about you know making sure that you manage the dose of news and social media that you get you put in that's minimizing the negative yes yes yeah. <laughs> right and we we also talk about simple things like Get up, take a shower, change your clothes. Get dressed. Get dressed. Comb your hair. Put on some lip gloss. You might not want to put on makeup. Put on some lip gloss. Put, put some on earrings something. on. Yes. You know. Change your clothes. Change your clothes. Yes. Like, like Miss Shirley said, like Miss Shirley, the comedy Shirley Coast, get up and wash your behind. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Let me just say this to you. And most of you know this. Most of you know this. Water is powerful. Yes, and I go to a, I can go to a whole other place to that. But many of us get our best ideas two ways: one, when we're in the shower, or when we go for a walk. Yes, yes. I nature, add uh, I, I add one more one more way. Oh, what, what's up, girl? <laughs> You're on the toilet. <laughs> That's all in the bathroom. Yes, yeah. So, <laughs> but when, when oh. you're in the shower, yes. And those are things too. And and, 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 and and the water does so many different things. Yes. And so take a shower, get out and get a, a good walk, a fresh walk. Um, you know, breathe it. Oh, and, and, and as you said, and but even focusing on put it put it on your um daily to-do list or something. Take 10 deep breaths three times a day. Yes. You know, like you have a doctor's prescription, 10 deep breaths three times a day you know yes i can even go on with the word prescribe the word to yourself like the doctor say every four hours take these two tabs and then there's other ones that say take as needed so right i don't say take as needed right now it's needed so you take your you, you take your scriptures three or four times a day or your affirmation whatever it is that gets you into a place where you can be like okay i can go back right. in i can enter back in and do and be of service to the world and not be served out that's, oh, not be served out. That's a good one. That's a good one. And I think, um, you know, as we wrap up, Miss Natalie, we're not saying don't answer your phone. Don't be there for Yeah, that's not what No, more than ever. And don't share. Ever. Don't be like, oh, I ain't going to share with nobody. No more. Uh -uh. That's yeah. Not now, that's more true. than ever, we need each other. Yeah. You know, people are going through um, these hard times. They're yeah. grieving, and we don't have the comfort of um, being physically able to comfort each other. Exactly. So more than ever, we need each other. Yes, we do. And we can show up for each other 
emotionally and also take care of ourselves, guard our own emotional well-being. Yes, we can. Well, Miss Natalie Johnson Lee, it has been a pleasure to have this conversation with you today. Well, pleasure always with you, Miss Andy. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. So tell people where they can reach you and find out more about um, Sisters in Power 365. So you know what? The, the easiest way to reach me right now is actually uh, text or email. Okay. Um, and you know, I don't have no problem giving my phone number out. Everybody got it anyway. 612-986-8037. 612-986-8037. And let me offer this too while I'm here. Um, I know that some people are at home alone. And some people don't have a connection. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm offering um, a, an accountability call. So if you need an accountability call, just text me and let me know. And let's have that conversation and see what that looks like. I've already got a couple of few people on my calendar that I call and check in for an accountability call. And it's just a, a time of encouragement, a time to see, are, you know, how are you showing up for yourself in the world every day? And, uh, and then are you showing up? Then first, how are you showing up for yourself? And then how are you showing up? Um, for the things that you or others are the things that you're supposed to be showing up for, and then um, in my, also my email sisters in power 365 at gmail.com. Yeah. That is excellent, excellent. So, we uh, just thoroughly enjoy having this conversation with you. And um, one last thing I would like to say is find the people in your life who uh, bring you light and life, yeah. yes. and, and yeah. tap into those sources, right? And yeah. you know, just be well and stay golden. Yes. Yes. I love yeah. that. Stay, stay golden. Stay golden. Yes. Stay, golden. I, stay phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you all for joining us for this conversation yes. today with my SBSS. Should we tell them what, what is SBSS? We always talk about SBSS. Side by side sisters. With my SBSS, Ms. Natalie Johnson Lee. Thank you for joining us and catch us next time on Teen Talk Live. All right. Bye. Bye.